Today, guys, we're going to show you how to replace an air dryer on your semi truck. Y'all out there? All right, let's get this thing moving. All right, today, guys, we got a 2007 International 9400 that the air dryer is bad on, and we're going to uh, try to get the air dryer replaced on it. So. We're gonna talk you guys through that, and that way you can change your own air dryer. All right, guys, you can see we got the new air dryer in the box, and Bill's gonna to talk to you about what all tools you're gonna to need to do the job with, and uh, we'll show you how to do it. All right, on this particular air dryer, uh, different air dryers take different wrenches, but on this one, uh, I'm gonna to have to have an inch and a sixteenth wrench one inch wrench, uh, retired door trim tool slash whatever. I use this to take the quick connect airlines off. Good old fit all wrench, nine sixteenths wrench, three eighths impact with a nine sixteenth socket. These two are to remove the air dryer where it mounts to the base and ready to round up and head you underway. All right guys, let's go get dirty. All right, guys, we're underneath the truck. Like I say, this is on a 07 International 9400. You can see the air dryer. Bill's gonna talk to you about what we gotta do and we'll show you how to get it off there. All right, on this one, uh, you got three main lines coming into the air dryer. You got this one, this one, and this little one right here. Some have more, some have less. This is usually about the basic setup uh, on most air dryers. You've got three to four air hoses on it and then you got an electrical plug down here. Uh, I have gone ahead and sprayed them with uh, with some panther piss so they'll be easier to, to come loose and come off and once you get these three lines off and get it unplugged you pull these two bolts out here and it's supposed to have a clamp at the top which this one does not but it uh, pull the clamp off and then pull these two bolts off and you have your air dryer laying on the floor and get these fittings out and putting the new one and you're ready to go in with a new one all right guys we're gonna get to jerking these things off here and uh we'll speed it up where it won't bore you and i uh, show you what to do the um, old air dryer out and there's the new air dryer. A while ago Bill meant, mentioned the word panther piss for those that don't know what panther piss are that's the uh, shop slang for a PB blaster. So he's going to talk to you about what we need off the old one and how to put them on the new one. Alright you got to take this fitting out, this fitting out and this fitting out. Remove your plastic caps Make sure you use Teflon tape, putting them back in. and switched over from the old air dryer to the new air dryer. Um, up here at the top, there's a zip tie on it. There's supposed to be a clamp on that. Bill will explain to you about what's going on with that. Normally when you buy a new air dryer, it comes with a clamp. This one uh, did not. And most of the time they'll come with the new brackets. I guess you have to buy all that stuff separate. Uh, since we don't have a clamp, and don't have anything to make one with at the moment. Uh, we'll go back to using the zip tie until we can get one. Um, it'll have to do for right now. We'll have to order one and get one in here. All right, guys, I'm gonna speed this up and that way y'all can see how it goes back on. See 
all the air lines is back up. It's plugged in, bolted in. So next thing to do is just fire it up and test it for leaks. Make sure you don't have any air leaks. So now you guys know how to do your own uh, replacement of your air dryer if it goes bad. So anyway, not too big of a job. You guys have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.